Go ahead, Bob. Point in the shoulder. Put your count palm right there. You'll feel the point. Mm -hmm. Point in the shoulder. Last. Hair of the mane. You draw a line. This line right here. That's your slope of your shoulder. Slope of shoulder. Slope of pasture should be the same. Go down. You'll see she's way up on her toes. She's got too much heel. Oh, yeah. For pasture. Yeah. These horses usually are really steep behind. Really laid back in the front. Okay? Okay. I get mad if nobody learns anything. I'd rather have people learn and know what's right. Because it's not a big dark secret to me. Well, I appreciate that. I believe the only stupid question is the one that's never asked. That sounds right. Plus, if you zoom in, you'll see she's higher the outside heel than the inside heel. Mm -hmm. Every horse is really a shot differently. Well, depending on their body, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not really breed trained. No, no, it's not. Although there are certain attributes or faults that are bred into every breed yeah. that enhance that breed's way of going. Is the paso shot very differently? Paso should be trimmed. That's what gets to the side. But you're the first one who got him to move that. This last time now, he moves so much better than he ever has before yeah. without clicking. Uh -huh. even allowed to have nail holes in their feet. Uh, for the show. I've got a lot of people who shoot them when they have to trip, when they go on the trail. Yeah. Because of where the feet are. The no. no. It's just, it's just. The way the action is. Yeah, that's Basically, they're using shot behind. I've got a bunch of pop those in New Mexico. In New Mexico? No. No. He doesn't travel anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of pasos in Sonoma. In Sonoma. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah.